Hello, it's Sarah. So this is sort of a prequel to that tutorial I posted. Um, going to just give a, a share of the tiles that I made, and that way whoever's not interested in the tutorial can still have a look at the tiles. Um, and I'll give you some information in this one as well. Um, I had previously shown when I did the other polymer clay video um, some tiles, and I saw a great tutorial by Gabrielle Polico. I'm going to pull this in here, hopefully. Um, she is, uh, that's her YouTube channel, and the, the video is Mixed Media ATC Tutorial. And that's where I got my inspiration to start putting these little ball pieces of clay on, and these swirlies, and um, the cabochons. She, she, that was the first time I saw the cabochons. So I had played and made a few of those, and so then I go on Google and I Google polymer clay tiles, and I saw some beautiful ones um, that were very similar. And I'm wondering if if Gabrielle didn't get her inspiration from Christina Capano, this one, Christina Capano. Her blog is Mandarin Moon but she's not really uh, blogging very often but she does have a gallery on there and she has um, you know posts I think it was like July was one of the last posts or something I also found um, a website called claylessons.com and she has tutorials on there Christina does she has this really cool dragon's eye that I'm thinking I might do um, and there's other polymer clay um, pieces on there that you could do a tutorial so anyway um, I wanted to get that out there because I feel like some people may be afraid to try it um, but when you see a tutorial it just that especially for me like it just gives me I just go for it then because somebody when someone shows me how to do it I can do it so these are some of the tiles I made yesterday and the only thing is now that I'm thinking they really look very similar because I used the um, Pearl X and all I did the same techniques on all of them so I'm not sure if you were to put these together on a mirror if it would be too monochromatic and I think that's what my husband said about my other my mirror that I showed was it was very monochromatic he he kind of didn't couldn't differentiate differentiate between the tiles but I think it looked nice it, it I found it appealing but not everyone may. So this is the first one I made, and this is really a copy of very similar, as using as many of the pieces that I had. I have a button here, a metal button, two cabochons. I actually um, made the heart. I kind of just swirled my clay into a heart shape. Um, and so this was very similar to one of Christina's pieces. So that was my first one, and it's actually not quite the size of an ATC. I just cut it. Um, whatever size I want it. Now this is actually a cookie cutter. So I did quite a few with this cookie cutter and this cookie cutter. Just because I like I like to get that nice straight line and, and make it a square. This is also based on a piece that I saw by her, but I put the mirror in and um, the sun charm that I had and just another cabochon. But because I mean I didn't have the exact things that she had, but it was basically this um, geometric pattern and I used um, some of these these are by I'm gonna say the name today um, it was just here where is it Makins Makins well I think I got these at Hobby Lobby but they come in um, let me see if I lift this up you get four different um, textures in each pack so I have three of those and I just pulled out a couple of them today I'm gonna to be using um, the screen later on when I make my um, Christy Friesen elephant because she it called for a screen and I just happen to have this so anyway the cobblestone is my favorite so far I definitely like the cobblestone effect I also have sand and I have some stars here that I didn't use but I just used those for background texture, and this one is the sand, and it really is cool. It gives it like, you know, it just makes the mica powder really glimmer better. All right, so then 
I went on to make these. I'm going to kind of go in order because it progressed as I went. I started playing with um, this wooden piece. Now these are these come together in a set by at Michaels. These were like the, this was the floral one. I think it's had butterflies and flowers and bugs. I have a dragonfly too somewhere. Anyway, so I just thought that this flower might make a nice impression. So I started playing with that, and I was really proud of myself because I tend to be a copycat, and so if I can come up with something on my own, I'm I'm really happy about it. So. These were the, the couple that I did using this um, uh, flower. I just embed that in the clay and that gives you um, this impression. So this is my least favorite. I just put lots of flowers and a couple swirls. I, put, I tried to put um, little bead findings for the centers. So then I did this one and I used, um, <clears throat> might still be on my desk right here, but it's, yeah, it's this metal um, corner and I just impressed this into the clay to get the leaves for this one. So I, I was just playing with different impressions. I put a hum, little hummingbird and a flower for the center of that one. Um, this one I, okay, then actually, and then I made this big one and I put three flowers and just some swirlies. So not much of a difference there, but just a bigger, bigger version. Then I decided to, to make some leaves add leaves like a three-dimensional type leaf. So I, I have these little tiny cookie cutters. So I started playing with them and I made these leaves and then I just, um, in the tutorial, I, I actually make these. These are the ones I make so you can see exactly how I make them. Um, these little round marks here are from just from a pen. I just like stick this pen in there to get those. and. I like these. I started really feeling it. I was like, okay, I get it now. I'm starting to feel this. So, um, that is one, this one's one of my favorites. Then I made a smaller version here with a little heart. I actually do a tutorial. This whole thing I make, um, on the tutorial. And then this one, I ended up putting an angel in the center with love and just one, uh, leaf. So that turned out really cute too. But they are all monochromatic. They're all very similar in color. So I'm not sure if that's good or not. I don't know. I'm not sure if that's uh, a problem when you're making a piece. Okay, so then I started playing with more of the um, these little cookie cutters and I did these flower shapes. So now this is really three dimensional and most of the most of the clay is on top. I think I did the sand background. So it has uh, like a grittiness to the background. And then I just put swirlies all over, a couple leaves and some balls and did the uh, mica powder again. Oh, I just put little Swarovski crystals in the middle. I don't have flat back rhinestones. I'm gonna look into that, but I don't know that mine are glass, so I didn't wanna use them. So that one turned out pretty cool. Um, this one is actually an ATC size. This is two and a half by three and a half. And I made this one actually before that one. I thought, hmm, maybe I can make a flower using this uh, cabochon as a center. And I used the cobblestone for the background on this one. I think it turned out really cool. Um, and just again, those little swirlies and the balls of clay. And some of the balls of clay I made bigger and then I'd stick the pen into it to get that kind of um, impression. Um, I started using like my little tools here to, to make dents and things and I used two colors of of mica powder on the uh, petals. So I'm just playing. I'm just trying to figure out what, where I'm going with this and what I want to see what works. I'm going to go away and come back. So that was, this is an actual ATC size. So this you can see, they're not quite ATC size, um, but I actually measured this one to be an ATC. These I just kind of winged it. And then these were my final two that I made last night and I'm, I'm really pleased with these. I used um, this little like teardrop shape and I stamped out about, I don't know how many are on there, lots of them because I knew I wanted to do a double decker. Like, and they're kind of thick. I probably could have gone a little thinner with my clay um, and then just did the leaves and swirlies. I call them swirlies. But this one's really cool. I don't know. Um, this is actually a mix of colors of clay. I was just using whatever I packages I had open before I get started on. Um, today I'm going to work on 
my Christy Friesen projects. But um, this was just a mix of clay, so all the clay I use is the same color, and then, which I kind of like for like the leaves when you dig into it, the, the dark clay shows through. So I'm really, I'm happy with these. These are, these are my creation. I, um, the cabochon came out kind of cloudy though. That was weird. I don't know why. Because for most of them, you can just wipe off with a baby wipe all the cabochons and all the jewelry findings and they all come clean. Oh, this one, I just wanted to say, this did not stick. Um, let me think. No, I don't have the other one here. But I, I had shown on the tutorial that a previous one that I did like this where I made the swirly on the cabochon this little piece of clay did not stick to the cab so I just glossy accented this one down and it dries clear so it it looks fine like it's still shiny and it's perfectly clear so I'm sure there are clay glues that you can use and all types of stuff like that but um, I just didn't want it to fall off because I like this one and then this is the other one I did now this one I ran out of this color was the last of what I had so I just pulled out a gold, a, a small gold package that I had. So you can see that this, all the top layers of clay are the gold. So that was kind of interesting because I'd been really working with a dark clay all day. I mean, this is as light as it was. I mean, it was a mix, but this is like a little more, um, has a little more uh, metallic to it. But this was actually dark. This was more black. I start, I opened my black, that's what it was. But what I was going to say was, like you can see on the leaves, well this still looks dark inside, which is kind of cool because it's gold clay, but that's black clay. Um, or it's, it's a black mix. Um, so the way the mica powders uh, show up on the lighter clay is interesting too. You know, you get a different look. So that's another thing that probably you'll get to know about as the more you play. Um, how the colors take the the different colors of clay take the different colors of mica powder so um so that's it those are my clay tiles i just wanted to share those and then um i will have my little critters that i'm going to create i think i'm going to do the elephant and the whale today i'm hoping um it's a rainy day here in new jersey and my husband is in alaska so i am going to be playing with my clay and I hope you guys give it a try. Okay, guys, thanks for watching.